guys welcome back to my channel today I guess I'm just in a super relaxed and zen environment and to be very honest with you I'm not feeling 100% but I was not going to let that stop me from filming and actually feeling this way is quite perfect because I can be cozy and I'm hoping that you guys are cozy right now while watching this I'm drinking some really good ginger tea for my throat so I wanted to share some new things with you guys that I have recently purchased or that has been sent to me as blogger mail and some of my favourite things recently. So it's a range of beauty stuff to just general life stuff and even some like footwear and clothing. I'm just so, so grateful for the things that people are sending me. I've got some skincare blogger mail that I will start off with. Let's do that. I came across this really cool brand on Instagram. They're called Eleng. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it but I'm just going to call it that. And things that I've been really looking for these days are just natural products, so with like shea butter and coconut oil and all those things. So that is literally this brand. They sent me a facial and body butter, facial and body scrub, which feels like it's got like brown sugar and things in there. Yes and coconut oil and cinnamon and coffee. And they also sent me a lip balm. And the coolest thing about this lip balm is that it's bright pink, which I just thought was really cool. I take that out with me every day, so that's in my makeup bag. And I actually really like it. It's really moisturizing on the lips. I have been using this cream because it's really, 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 really moisturizing. So if I'm ever wearing like sandals or anything like that, um, don't know if you guys can see my hands glistening now. Um, you don't want dry feet and toes, right? I haven't opened the body scrub yet because, call me weird, right? But there's certain things that are to do with like bathing and just products that I really want to have displayed nicely in my new bathroom. So I don't want to go and waste it now and then have nothing to show for it. So I'm waiting until I finish my bathroom before I display all these nice things. I've even been stocking up on some lush bath bombs, which are packed away in a cabinet in my bathroom and they will not be used until I have a new bath. Yes, I'm very particular. So moving on, the next thing is not skincare, it's hair care. This is a leave-in conditioner from Cantu, which I have been using, don't know if you can tell, smells so yummy but it's a shea butter leave-in conditioner and i've been really liking this it's been making my hair really smooth i'm used to relaxed hair so there were times where i was struggling but this conditioner just makes things so much easier i just leave it in for about half an hour to an hour just leave it in as long as i really can then i wash it out twist my hair let it air dry and it's just moisturized so i know that Cantu is now sold in boots so if you guys want to check out their new range and all of this stuff which is really good i definitely recommend this so i'm going to move on to a really cool blogger mail package that i was gobsmacked by when i opened it it came in this really cute pink box backstage beauty reached out to me on instagram I literally thought they were just going to send me some lashes to try and I was so excited and appreciative of that because I am somebody that buys Demi Wispies all the time. However, they didn't just send me a pair of lashes. No, no, no. These ones are called Rodeo Drive and these ones are called Melrose Avenue, which are like all American themed. Can you see? These makeup brushes are gorgeous some of you guys know on instagram and on snapchat and so on that i have been asking for you guys advice when it comes to makeup brushes i'll be trying these out and i'm really glad that these got sent to me because i like to promote small businesses and people not always about huge corporations <laughs> sometimes support a normal local person highlight brushes eyeshadow brushes like they're just stunning and each brush tells you what they are for which is amazing for me because I'm kind of clueless. I just use brushes if and when and however I feel like it. But guys, it didn't even end there. Underneath the brushes, there was a secret stash of more eyelashes. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> These ones are called Hollywood, Chelsea, Sandro Pay. And guys, not only that, but I also have more than enough makeup, okay? So we're gonna move on to another blogger mail package from Mary Kay. As I've said, I'm on the hunt constantly for new things. I don't care if it's a brand that everyone uses or that nobody uses, I just want good stuff. So I went onto the website and I got to choose a few different things that I felt I needed in my collection. So the first thing that I needed was a primer because I suffer from shiny nose 
and forehead syndrome and I've just had enough especially now that it's getting a bit warmer I say that but it was raining today um so I got this primer and I have been using it since the day I got it and I love it guys I love it I love it this paired with this tinted moisturizer CC cream I've never tried in my life so I just tried it and it's like a random color you know it's not like complete shades like foundation it actually looks like my skin it just blended perfectly this i have been wearing every single day to work it just feels lighter rather than wearing my foundation plus i like to feel different on the weekends to how i feel at work because yeah you just want to really make the effort on the weekends and you don't want to look the same every day otherwise it's just like ugh. There's no excitement. Another favorite from my Mary Kay package is this Lash Intensity Mascara. At least this mascara doesn't have like a crazy name because I always cringe when I hear bloggers read out this long like five worded name for a tiny little mascara. This is to the point. I like the packaging, I must say, it's very sleek, but also, it's that consistency that I like. Ever get mascaras when they're new and they just feel really watery and they're just not doing anything? I don't know if that just happens to me, but mascaras are always better for me, like when they're like drying up, because then the actual product like clings to my lashes more and then I get more of a dramatic effect. Well, this one is like that from the beginning and I am wearing it right now. I always film with lashes on, but today I'm in PJs and I just can't be bothered. So I just put this mascara on and it is very brightening. It does lift my lashes. So I'm loving their lipstick called Bash For You. It is one of my typical color vibes. Um, and it's like a nudie pink. I call that kind of color my weekend color because during the week I tend to do more of a like taupey nude which is slightly more of a burnt nudie color. But then on the weekends I get a little bit brighter, a bit more pink, a bit more blushy. I like the texture of that lipstick as well. It's creamy, it's not like drying because I do get prone to having dry lips occasionally and this is quite moist. Guys, we can get nude tights. This is not brand new, of course, we saw the young lady on The Apprentice who had her business and she really should have won. Since then, I feel there have been like quite a few different companies pop up and they are embracing and empowering us, um, you know, to actually wear nude that is really nude for us. I have struggled so much in my professional career with what to wear to work when it is hot, when it's summer. I've never been the first person to just get my legs out, especially going to work. I've just wanted to have some new tights that look like they're my legs, but I still have that added smooth sleekness that makes my legs look perfect. And these did that. I actually recently posted a picture on Instagram. And most of you commented on that picture saying, what tights are you wearing? <laughs> Brunette Noir on Instagram. I'm a size medium and I'm Coco. Okay. So another beauty kind of blogger mail is this, and I literally just got it today, so I'm unwrapping it. It is Carbon Cocoa, and it's a natural teeth whitener, and I like white teeth, so I'm willing to try it. So I'm gonna give you guys a honest review, probably on my Instagram, but it's literally black. So it's weird because it's like, how can a black consistency powder make your teeth white? Well. I have heard that charcoal and things like that do actually brighten your teeth and they also sent me a toothbrush specifically for this. And I'm going to start using it as of tonight and hopefully by the weddings I have my shiny white teeth. So the last blog I'm out is this beautiful candle which I did show you guys in my last vlog. I went to an event and got a goodie bag. Um, gourmet candles, so many different scents. Oh, this is mint chocolate natural oh oh my god it feels so i want to eat it natural wax so it's not gonna like you know burn off any bad chemicals by the way guys i will be linking every single thing down below websites instagram twitter wherever these companies can be found i'm gonna link them down below mm. it's so yummy but it's getting cold now so we're gonna move on to things that i have purchased okay makeup I purchased makeup, not that much, but two things. The first thing is my foundation. I wanted to get some Giorgio Armani foundation that I've wanted for years now, 
but I was in Westfield, Stratford and was in dire need of a foundation because I had completely hit pan. Stratford Westfield does not have everything. So I went for like the next best thing and that was Bobbi Brown and I used to use a Bobbi Brown foundation at uni. Loved it at first but then hated it because the formula became really oily on me and really orange. So I always knew that my colour was number seven so I went there, told the lady I'm usually a number seven. She was like, oh well it's your lucky day because they have a new formula which has taken out the oiliness and the orangey red tone. Hallelujah. So I am a number 7.25 in Cool Almond and this foundation has SPF 15 so it's very very good at protecting your skin as well as giving you a flawless look. So I've been using that and I honestly have no bad words to say. A lot of you guys on like socials have been saying that my skin's been looking good so I think this is a keeper. And the second thing that I also bought on the same day was this Laura Mercier powder. And this is the one that everyone was going mad about because it's for like chocolate ladies. Obviously it's not a powder I'm gonna use under my eyes because I like to brighten under my eyes. But I use this as like a finishing powder. I first used this when my friend came around and stayed over, we went out and uh, she had all her makeup because she's just a makeup girl and I as usual always go into her makeup bag and just try new things out before going to buy it and that night honestly my makeup stayed in place and it just looked smooth and flawless also really good for like collarbone and shoulders if you're doing like an off shoulder look it's the translucent medium deep okay guys last beauty thing is this from Garnier three in one charcoal anti blackhead wash scrub and mask i really like this one thing that i realized was that i needed to spice up my gym wear to make me feel like i was somebody in the gym just because you're going to sweat buckets does not mean you should do it not looking good so <laughs> i posted this gym wear on snapchat and instagram and like everyone was asking where it was from i literally just stumbled across it in sports direct nothing fancy it was on sale i think i got the set for like 20 pounds and i was with my mom and my mom was encouraging me to do it because my mom is like so healthy and so fit guys she puts me to shame when i put this on it just gets me happy and in the mood i don't know because it's got like flowers and palm trees on it guys it's encouraging me to think about a summer body the brand is called usa pro and i got the top in a size six and i got the bottoms in a size six as well so i figured we'll do some more clothing and then we'll move on to the like book things and stuff that just have been getting me through my day-to-day -day life this cute trench coat from top shop i think it comes in like a khaki color as well the day that i bought it i put it on and left my old coat at work and on the train home i got asked about twice where it was from so i knew i had done well with this purchase i got it in a uk six it's really wrinkly right now guys it's got a tie bit at the back let's talk about some new in shoes pink okay the first pair are just these cute flat ballerinas from zara they made me really nostalgic and think back to the days when we would buy 20 pound ballerina pumps from top shop they had the little lace-up bit and um, they would look like crap after wearing them twice but they were 20 pounds so you would just go and buy them again kind of how you would buy white converses when they were really cheap back in the day and you would never wash them you would just throw them away and buy a new pair that's what we did I find that they're actually really good for when I'm wearing heels or boots out and I just need some flat shoes to change into these actually just came in the post so i've still got the tag on them and i haven't worn them yet but i can't wait these are sneakers trainers pumps whatever i don't care that they're not nike or chanel or balenciaga i'll get all of those but i just thought these were really cute for throw ones again these are only 19.99 and um they're cute they'll be cute with jeans they'll be cute with a dress they'll be cute with a skirt you know i'm in dire need of comfort shoes so that's why as you can see i went for two pairs of comfort shoes this month if i wear gray jeans this goes if i wear blue jeans this goes if i wear white jeans this goes i don't wear black a lot i would wear nude like even going out people would tend to gravitate towards a black dress an lbd not me i would go for a nude dress or a pink dress or a white dress like those are my staple neutral colors and now these three things they're life related and 
I feel a lot more saner with these things and these outlets around me. The first thing is my five minutes journal. I really love and admire the people that made this. They are Mimi and Alex Icon. I love their journey, their story, what they stand for and their ethics. You write in the journal every day. So as you can see, this was yesterday. You basically write what you're grateful for, you write down what things you would like to achieve in the day, some daily affirmations. So that's in the morning and then at night before bed, you reflect on your day, you write down three things that were amazing and you write down how your day could have been better. And this is a daily exercise and it also has like a motivational quote or like a task for you to do each day. It just oozes happiness and positivity and you guys know that I am a strong believer in the law of attraction and I believe like attracts like and of course you guys know I'm a Christian. Faith and believing that things are gonna happen and staying positive. I believe that the more grateful you are, the more things you'll receive to be grateful for. I have actually had this for about a year now, but I never started using it. I didn't feel like I could commit to doing it every day until the beginning of this month, June. I was like, I'm turning 24. Let's try and document my new year. I'm a firm believer in acting on inspired four and so far so good. I just need to do tonight's one before I go to bed. So I've been slacking a lot recently on my book and reading intake, I have to be honest, because I've been so busy in the social media world, with YouTube, with just everything. So I decided it was time to start brushing up on my reading. And I am going to share a book video, well, a few hopefully in the future with you guys. Once I get right back on track with my reading, I have a huge, huge long list of books I would like to read this year. The Pinker Print by Chimmy Lawson. If you don't know about her, I don't know where you've been, you need to head over to Instagram and her Instagram is The Pinker Print and she is young, youthful, real feminism. She's just so, so cool. Honestly, I really admire her witty captions. She talks about so many different topics and to be honest, she's always provoking my thoughts. She actually has her first book here which you can get on Amazon and I'm gonna leave it down below. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I've started and so far so good. I just feel her character and personality coming right out of the pages. And the last new in thing that I have been loving right now that I could not live without anymore. It's an app, the Joyce Mayer app. I've known about Joyce Mayer for a very long time and I kind of knew she had an app. But again, I just never really felt drawn to getting it. Ever since I downloaded it, I've been addicted there are like daily sermons and then there's like radio talks as well for each day. It's Wednesday today and today's uh, sermon is Understanding Your Emotions Part 2. So tomorrow will be Keeping God First Part 1. I love it. Let me show you guys. She just gets right to the point and in every single sermon, I always feel like she's talking directly to me. That's it guys, that is the end of my very relaxed and comfortable new in unboxing haul favourites all in one. For those of you guys that have been asking about my hair, my hair is from Beauty Forever next week you guys will get a hair review. Keep on watching because there is going to be a vlog coming after this video of my really jam-packed weekend and then loads more videos after that. Take care of yourselves and I will see you guys or rather you will see me very soon. Bye!